ladies. Hello, ladies, as Michelle says. I hope you guys are all doing good. And I am sorry about... Hey, everyone. And I'm sorry about not being able to do... Hi, Ann. Hi, Amberly. Hi, Trish. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Ash. I thought you were going to be at the beach. Ash, are you back already? Hi, Jennifer. So how is everybody? Hi, Chris. Hi, Cassandra. I, mean, I need to turn on my other light. Um... How are you girls? I am so sorry about not being able to do the snowflake extravaganza. I cannot get the autofocus mm. to zoom. And when you're working with seed beads, hi Heidi, when you're working with, well, welcome home Ash. When you're working with seed beads, you guys know they're so tiny that you can't, you couldn't even see what I was doing without the zoom. So give me one second. I'm gonna I just want to grab a couple of things of paint and we can get started. Just get any kind of papers you guys want to get. Anything. It can be brown paper bags, it can be um, any type of any type of uh, paper. Get that ugly scrapbook paper. Wasn't it one of you guys told me that? They give you ugly scrapbook paper because they want to get rid of it. Or what was what did one of you guys tell me once you were like you were like telling me like they they give you ugly scrapbook paper so you so <laughs> I don't remember. So you have to deal with it or something like that. Hi Eva. Hi Sarita. So let me just breathe for a few minutes, you guys, and then we can start. So, we were going to make snowflakes, and I can't get the zoom to work, so you can't see a damn thing. So, and today was just a, it was like my life, as Susan says, another ridiculous day. I, I was, uh, anyway, I told you guys on Sunday that Hadi and I, we did a whole bunch of gardening where we, where we, you know, took down these, hi Bet, hi Ann, um, where we took these banana trees down, right, I told you guys, and they're actually quite difficult, it's not like a, anyway, he lost his glasses, you guys, he lost his glasses in the banana, like, and it's, it's a huge pile, it's like, I would say it's like, 20 feet long by six feet high and so I spent the whole early portion of my day looking through banana leaves can I tell you guys and we didn't find them because anyway so he went and he got himself some new glasses but they won't be here till next week and he didn't think it was a big deal but he can't drive without he has he's getting headaches so anyway so when I finally sat down to just like, I was like, oh, let me just do a dry run and do, and you know, use the zoom. Well, let's just say, and he was already gone by then, so I couldn't even, you know. So after I tried for like an hour, I got myself completely frustrated, and then I was like, okay, I'm done. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, this is, I'm done. I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to stress out about it. Um... And I didn't think about it, right? So that's what I did. So I decided, okay, the least what's not stressful for me is making painted papers. Are you guys in on that? Is every and you know you can always you guys have as many book blocks as I do. Hi Jamie. Hi Brenda. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny, but Brenda. Bananas are amazing here. Can I tell you they're just really amazing. And um, they have all different varieties, but you don't realize like the whole, 
it's like a lot. It's like a lot of work. Because after they fruit, they fruit, they make about 100, 100 pounds of bananas of fruiting. And then they... They die, but they take a while to die off, and if you don't cut them off in between, it's better to cut them when they're green, and anyway, needless to say, it was an ordeal. And they're covered in ants and spiders. It's fun. Hi, Sherry. Yes, everybody, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. So back to my painting papers. You guys know that I'm really into making painting papers, spraying painting papers. And my challenge for myself has been to, you, to make as many painting papers as I can, at least 15 minutes of making painting papers a day. Okay, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of painting tools that I make myself. And I have a whole box of them, but of course they're in the garage. So I made a few right before we started, just to show you. Now, I'm gonna dry this one. This one I made from packing cardboard. And I put some matte medium on it, like the varnish, Liquitex gloss medium or matte medium. You could probably do the same thing with Mod Podge. It's just what I had. And the reason you do it on a piece of paper is um, because if you want to use it as a stamp over and over and over again. Thanks, Carrie. And the spiders aren't, they, I mean, they don't bother you, but they're big, and they're kind of scary, actually, but they don't do anything to you. They don't bite us. So, so if you want to make your own marking tools, like, I don't know who was talking to me the other day. I was, like, saying, oh, I don't have stamps, or I only have a little bit of this, or a little bit of that. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, it's great if you have all that stuff, but you don't really need it. You can make your own marking tools. Sorry, this. I put a lot of matte medium on this particular one because have you used these post office boxes like when anybody sends you an, uh, an express mail box I use I cut them up and use them as tools yeah they are big spiders um, but they're okay hi Valerie hi Helen You know, Amberly, I don't understand the ins and outs of um, YouTube either. You know, it's not always good. So, what I wanted to show you is that, you know, you don't need a lot of, this has to dry. I mean, now it's hot, so I have to let it sit there and dry for a second. You don't need a lot of tools. I mean, it's good if you have a couple things. I'm going to get a brown paper bag and I'm going to cut open a brown paper bag from the drugstore and... It's good if you have a couple of things, like, I think it's worth getting a brayer, which is what this is, which is like a roller, it rolls ink and paint. You should clean yours off. Obviously, I didn't clean mine off from the other day, from yesterday, when we were making, when I was making my serendipity paper. Um, paint, a brayer, a couple of paint brushes, some, um, you know, this is non-traditional painting. You could use sticks. You could even use, um, you could use anything to mark, to make your marking tools, you know? You just have to like what it is. So I'm going to cut my pages a little bit small, because, a little smaller because um, then I can paint them and fit them in the frame too, fit them in the, the frame. So you told them you needed brown paper bags. They gave you three. You know what? You'll be surprised. You know where you can really get a lot of brown paper um, packaging and stuff like that is if you go to, you know, do you guys have a, um, even like a shipping store like Staples or one of those places, you know, like in one of those places, they don't actually, I mean, they recycle their paper, but if you ask them, because they get all kinds of things packed and it'll be in the top of the, their packing, and they will, um, if you ask for it, they'll give it to you. I, I go all the time and ask for the, and that brown paper that you, that, are, that comes inside like an Amazon box or a shipping box, that's even better than brown paper bags. So you don't need a lot. And so let me just see, I'm going to put, let me 
fine. I know I have a beige. Oh, you guys, back to school stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys have to go. Hi, Mildred. Mildred, we're not making snowflakes today. I can't get the zoom on my camera to work and you wouldn't be able to see me. So we're making painty papers. So I hope that doesn't disappoint you too much, Mildred. Um, what I want to tell, I'm forgetting my other, where's my other lids? You guys, I'm like ridiculous today. I'm ridiculous every day, but I'm a little more ridiculous today, it feels like. Um, back to school sales. Okay, you guys have to go. I took my daughter yesterday. We bought school supplies. And they have those composition notebooks. They have the graph ones, the plain ones, and the, the ruled ones for 50 cents each at, at almost every big box store and even at the office supply store. They have... Elmer's Extreme, which I love. Remember I was telling you guys that I love this blue stick and it comes big and it was like $2 for two or something like that. two fifty for two. And then I got some erasers. Those really big erasers. And if you guys get those, we can, we can carve some stamps together if you guys are interested. I don't know if you're interested in carving any stamps or doing anything like that but we could do that together that that's always fun have you guys carved stamps before i'm sure you have right especially as a kid right so those are really fun those really big fat stamps i mean really big fat erasers you can get i got three for 50 cents yesterday they came three in a package for 50 cents so i thought it was good so i just wanted to i'm going to paint my page uh, I'm going to paint a couple of the pages with some beige on it because I want to do some stamping on top so that you see it. And these are just old book pages, but I'm, I plan on getting into some bigger brown bags and some other stuff too. I like to create stamps too, Ash. You know what? You can use, um, I, I like, I, you can use corks and stuff. I use these, these, um, you know, we have a lot of bars on Maui and so... If you make friends, I don't know if you, wherever you guys live, if you make friends with somebody that works in a bar, they throw away a million corks a day. I let, I save the real cork ones, the ones from the cork tree, to actually carve stuff with, or make stuff with. But the, um, these plastic ones, these, whatever they're, what are they, they're, they're made out of some sort of plastic. All right, you guys, hang on a second. I'll be right back. Give me two seconds. Give me two, two seconds, be right back, be right back. Sorry you guys, I have my, my little one's out with friends and I just, I wanted to get my, I didn't bring my phone over with me. I'm going to make sure she's okay. So, get yourself those big erasers. Those big uh, erasers. So, I like these plasticky corks. They work good, too. You can carve in them. It's not as easy to see your carvings in them because they're usually, you know, and they're not easy to carve. I mean, you can make them as marking tools, but you can't really carve like an intricate stamp with them. At least I haven't been able to. I'm not saying that somebody else can't, but so I'm only just putting a base coat on mine so that I could just show you like why I think these are cool. So this is just a salsa lid and you just put this on the back to hold. You made a stamp. Potatoes make great stamps. They just aren't. Um... Yes, yeah, so you stopped, stocked up on Elmer's Extreme Tube. Awesome. Okay, so I like this because it has a lip on it. And then, like, I'll show you. You just gotta spread your paint on something. But I think it's cool. I mean, I think it's a cool marking tool. And it's free, because it came out, you know, it's your recycling, right? So, I like it. So, that's just one, right? One little orange stamp. I did it with orange stamping. And then I'm gonna get some other colors. I actually need a palette. I don't even have one here. 
It's good if you can have a flat palette. That that's really good too. I usually I can make one out of I guess uh, wax paper, but. So tell me what you guys are up to on for your Friday night. Hi Renee, how are you? If you guys want to talk to me, put it in all caps so that I can see you. Hi Laurel. So these are just like soda bottle tops or, you know, different and just, you know, hot glued. So just, you guys, they make great marking tools and they're free. So, you no. Know, So I don't want to hear any of you guys tell me you don't have any, you don't have any, um, any supplies because there are, you have them right in your own kitchen. You just don't even know it, right? You don't even know that you have it. So, you know, just use all your different jar lids, you know, a jam jar lid. Okay, so you guys have like a plethora of tools available to use in different sizes. So, you know, hot glue and these little corks. You're cutting tags out of out of out of your boxes. Good for you, Carrie. Hi Eileen. Hi Bet. Hi Elisa. Bubble wrap makes a great stamp too. I have some over here. Maybe we'll put some of that on our painted papers. So that was my 411 on just a few marking tools. Now, look, you can use anything. I don't know what this is. I think it came from a kid's toy. You guys know my favorite tool, Luana, has reminded me it was a Tupperware scraper. I have no idea where I got it from. I must have bought it. Someone either gave it to me, like a friend, thinking that, oh, I'll use it, or I bought it at a thrift store. I honestly don't remember. And then, so just save, and you know what I love this, the shape of is, you know the top of deodorant lids? You know how they come with that little weird plastic thing inside of it? I like that too. So, you know. So, you can use anything for a marking tool. Just, your imagination is your only limit, right? You can use anything. So tell me about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some base coats on my... I think I'm going to base coat the, the paper before I start painting on it. I think I'm going to base coat it in, I could base coat it in gesso, but I think I'm going to base coat it in just some beige, some off-white, some off-white um, craft paper, I mean craft paint. You get little, you take insulin, Cassandra, and you get little circle. Okay, well, you know, you use everything that you have. Yes, you know. <laughs> I love those little deodorant things, Carrie. You know why? Because they have like a, a little handle already on them, right? And these are some painty papers that I started yesterday. So I'm just going to just keep going. You can, you know, use, make it fun for yourself, you know. And you can use, and you don't have to just use this. Like, you can use newspaper, you can use magazines you can use um i mean you don't have to just be just because i'm like into the paper bag thing for the moment you don't have to you know do paper bags that's just what i that's just my moment my 411 for the moment you know why because i had a whole big pile of them in my recycling and you know it's like i try to use especially if they're nicer heavier duty ones i try to use it I got it wet because I have a glass of tea here. I have a glass of iced tea. So, I think I'm going to paint these with a white craft paint first or a beige craft paint. A beige white. <laughs> this, <laughs> you know, those deodorant things are kind of, it's kind of cool. And if you get a jelly plate, you'll start even seeing more things as tools. You'll be like, oh. I should use that as a tool or, you know, I should, um, you'll just start seeing different marking tools and different things in your, in what you already have without even going to buy anything. 
You know what else I like is I like all the, pla like I always take, like when they give you the plastic forks and stuff from the to-go places, I keep those. I keep the knives, the spoons, because they're not all tined the same, you know, not all their, not all their little tines are the same. And so I like that. I Chopsticks. I mean, I don't know. You'll, you'll start to see, like, all kinds of cool stuff that you like that you use. You'll be like, oh, that's a great... And you'll start looking... And you'll also start using... Um, you know, you'll start, like, before you throw away your, your shampoo bottles, before you go to recycle your shampoo bottles. Um, you, those are make good lids, too. Yes, Susan! You're screaming at me. <laughs> what, Susan? Oh, Scotty, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Are you feeling better? I hope so. Susan, you're so funny. So you guys, yeah, please... I mean, you don't have to yell at me in all caps, but I won't... If I miss it, please repeat it. It's not because I don't want to don't want to um, talk to you. As I miss it sometimes, you guys chat with each other and I miss it. So it's not too late to send Noni's grandma birthday card and she told me today that her grandmother is loving all the cards, that she's actually feeling better. You know, she turned, she's a hundred and she's been having some health issues, but you know, she's feeling better. So if you haven't sent your cards, it's not too late to send them. Um, Noni says she's really appreciating it, and I'm sure that it's making her her birthday. So I'm glad that I'm glad that um, the deodorant thing is. I don't have one in front of me. It's um, you know, like when you buy a hard deodorant, like a a, a stick deodorant. A solid deodorant it has like I don't know if they all do but the ones that I buy have like a plastic little cap on top it has a little lid and then when you take it off when you first buy it it has that extra plastic thing on top that's what I'm talking about but you could save your deodorant lids too you know you can save it you can use anything as a marking tool you don't have to be um, it doesn't have to be Now the only reason why I'm giving it a base coat is because these paper bags are so porous that if you start to putting any spray ink or anything on it, it just soaks right in. So if you're going to use brown paper, you don't have to do it with everything that you do, but if you're going to use brown paper, I think it works pretty good. I think it works good to um, Amazon sells Tupperware? I didn't know that. You know, look, yes, I agree with you, Helen. Helen, it's a really good idea just to, I mean, you start, you know, we get caught up because we're in this consumer, this consumer life, right? That you need, in order to be creative, you need that paint or you need that tool. And I hope if you don't if you don't learn anything at all from me and what I'm sharing with you on my own journey is that you learn that you can use anything as a tool and you don't need the next best thing. You can be creative with Hi Edna. You can be creative with just what you have. You know, I know that there are some things that are really nice to have. Like, um that's why I asked you guys the other day, like in the in our Facebook group and if you haven't joined please everyone's welcome um, head on over crafting mamas on Facebook a lot of very encouraging people so it's really fun to see and you don't have to be a paper crafter you can be in any kind of crafter the only rule in the group is well there's a couple of rules you have to be nice so if other people make art that you don't like don't say anything you have to be kind and nice and there's no selling it's a no selling group I think that there's a lot of groups out there already that sell and that sort of thing and I don't I just want it to be a really safe place for people just to express themselves and 
show your art and be supportive and find your crafty best friend, you know? I love that too. So that's why I asked you guys the other day in our group, um, what you guys, if you could have one thing or if you could add anything to your stash, what would it be? Right? And a lot of you had big, big ticket items like, you know, a die cutting machine or, you know, that sort of thing, which is great. I mean, I have one. I love mine. I use it all the time. I use it all the time. So I'm just going to give these a layer of paint first so that I can then paint on top of it just so it doesn't all, um, so that it, you know, doesn't all absorb in all whatever layering, whatever paint I'm going to put on it. Yeah, Susan wanted rice paper. I want those gel crayons you can buy them for like $5. I looked for them yesterday. They were sold out because of school, I guess. There, somebody asked me if they're like gelatos. They are kind of like gelatos, but they're cheaper. They're like, you know, gelatos are kind of pricey. So these are like, I don't know, the generic brand. They're like a debt 12 in a package for $5. I haven't found them here yet. Um, I bought some for my niece, I don't know, maybe a year ago when I was on the mainland. Because she loves to art and she does graffiti art and I thought it would be really cool to use those and she loved them and I used them when I was there and then she sent me a picture of something she made and she made it with those crayons and I was like oh I gotta have that so yeah I just don't want you to think that you can't like make your art out of what you have like I think that's the, for me that's the most fun is to make my art out of what I have as opposed to thinking I have to go buy something. So that's just where I'm at though. If you guys can be wherever you are. I'm not, it's not, no criticism on me. Yes, I love a jelly plate. I love a jelly plate. You ordered one, Pam? Oh, you're going to love it. I love Posca pins, and They're awesome. I use them. I love them. Posca pins, they're a little pricey. But, you know, if you, if you guys have, you have those crafting stores where you can, uh, You can get a coupon and, you know, go on a certain day and get those coupons as 40 and 50% off coupons. I love Posca pins. Those are awesome. Hi, Lisa. Yeah, so shout out. If I haven't said hi to you, shout to me. Put it in all caps so I can see you, okay? And if you have a name, if your name on YouTube is like, you know, Crafty Girl 24, if you could just tell us your name, that's great. You got the stuff today to make you a jelly plate? Oh, awesome. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. You'll have to tell us. You'll have to tell us how your jelly plate goes. Posca pins are fun to are fun to use. They are a little pricey though. Unless I don't know where you get them for a discount. Besides, you guys will have to tell me. I have a daughter that's a graphic designer. You know my one that's living in Japan, moving to China. She is a graphic designer, so she has a lot of that sort of illustration stuff. Posca pens were hers, and she left them. Have some for me. They're fun to they're fun to use. Yeah, everybody post where you're from. You know, it's really fun is that a lot of people have been finding their crafty best friends and they're finding like some a, a good crafting um, friendship community, not just online, but right in their own local area just from coming here and finding um, somebody that maybe you, you have common interest with, you know? I know Ash is, Ash crafts. Ash will have to tell everybody, especially posted in our Facebook group, Ash crafts live with her friends. She has like two or three people she crafts with, and they don't live anywhere near her. So, you know, being in this sort of community where you meet people that you go, oh, I really click with you and craft together, it's really fun. Colorado in the house, Indiana in the house, Illinois in the house. Hi, Lisa. Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Woo! Central Valley, California. Minneapolis. 
Texas. We know our Texas girls. We're in the house. California. Hi, Lynn. Edna's in Chicago. Awesome, Edna. Colorado, Texas, Portland, Oregon. Texas and Texas, where, where are you from in Texas, Barner Chicken Lisa? <laughs> where are you? And Helen, where are you from in Texas? Guys, I'm born and raised in Texas. I'm a fifth generation Texan. Trish is from Tarpon Springs, Florida. Hi, Fee. How are you? I'm so happy you're here. Fiona's from Australia. Aussie in the house. I think Sarita's here somewhere, and she's from South Africa, which I think is awesome because it's like really far from here, right? Fiona Jane, yay! Renee, where are you from? Did you already post it and I missed it? I missed it. Houston, Texas. Oh, I was. You're. I'm from Houston, Lisa. Because I think it's really important to find a group of like-minded people that get you, you know, that get whatever you're into, you know, even if it's like crocheting or soap making or whatever it is that you're into, you know, that you find a group of people that totally get you because when you do, then when you, when new cool things happen for you, you have someone to share it with and you don't have to worry about the criticism of the people that don't get you, right? So can you imagine if I told the people that I know. Oh, what did you do on a Friday night? Oh, well, I painted paper, brown paper bags. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Trish says, Lindy, Miracles, and Sprays. Where did you order them? I ordered them from Create and Craft. And they have, right now, they have those um, Magicals. They're called Magicals. They have a set of Magicals, but I don't remember. One of you guys told me which the color was. Oh, Jacinto, Texas, for 30 years. Wow. Awesome, Lisa. I like having crafters that like what I like, too. But you know what else I like, Carrie? Is I like learning new things all the time. I'm always learning new things. So I love it when I learn something new and when I can apply it to my medium. Like, so, you know, you can apply every single thing that I'm doing here Hey Lurker, say hi, tell us where you're from. Every single thing that I'm showing you here, you can do with real, like if you don't want to do it with brown paper bags, you can do it with scrapbooking paper. You can do it with book pages, you can do it with magazine pages, you could do it with um, cardstock, you could do it with um, anything that you, you know, like every single thing that we've done here, you can do with other supplies you don't just because I'm into the recycling thing does not mean you have to be but you know I don't know I just I'm, I'm to the I'm just at a different point in my life I think where I feel like I enjoy being creative I just don't want to spend a ton of money doing it and I like to I honestly like to see if I can push the envelope I mean sometimes things don't work out like sometimes if you, you know it would work back better on a heavy-duty piece of you know Strathmore watercolor paper but, you know, I like it. Hi, Lana. How's your grandbaby? So...
Yeah, use some of your old, you're right, Scotty, use some of your old ugly scrapbooking paper. And we've had this conversation about scrapbooking paper and how there's always some that you love, and then there's some in that pack that are horrible. You know? Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. So I've got a couple of pages. I've got a, co I've got a couple of coats on a couple of pages. And then I'm gonna get my book pa pages out. And I'm gonna, um, you guys know me. I have, I love book pages. I don't know what it is about book pages that I like so much. These are sort of brittle, brittle ones, so they're not going to be, they're not going to be as good as like, um, no, they're going to be, they're not as, they're not as good as some. You guys, I'm a big fan of a Tom Clancy novel, not because I read Tom Clancy, but the pages, if you can find a Tom Clancy novel written by Tom Clancy, not one of his alter egos or one of the ghostwriters, the print, the pages of that book, the paper, is really good. The paper quality is excellent for um, junk journaling, for making your pockets and making your... Now, I'm going to go back and paint other layers on this. I'm just getting my first layer down. I love a Tom Clancy novel. Um, let me see what other ones do I like. And there's, a, there's a few authors that you can tell... Um, Patricia Cromwell, that her book pages, if, especially in her older books, are really good. Um, trying to think of you guys, isn't that terrible? Like I, I buy my books or I shop based on like, oh, I'm gonna buy my book based on the page quality, or or dig through the dumpster based on <laughs> the page quality. So that is what I do. I mean, I just get it going and I'm, um, these are just base layers for, for what's to come. And what was I going to tell you? Jamie, where are you going? Did I miss it? I missed where you were going. I just saw somebody, ooh, tornado headed your way. You know, that's the unfortunate thing about living, I lived in Texas forever, and lots of tornadoes, lots of hurricanes, you know, but for those that don't live in that area, you get, you see it, you get like, oh my god, that's like the worst ever, but it really isn't. Hi Lurker, say hey, tell us your name, tell us where you're from. So... Okay, so I'm going to dry the, I'm going to get my heat gun out and dry them, and then I'm going to, I'm going to paint mine, I don't, I usually paint them one at a time, I don't usually paint like mass papers, but you guys know I've been doing my cleaning, my calamari cleaning, as Susan calls it, so my calamari cleaning is going to, I'm going to dry this, I'm going to dry this with my heat gun, and then go to the next step. I'm sorry, Ash. There, um, I can't get the autofocus on my, my, I can't get the zoom to work on my camera, and you could not see me seed beating without the zoom working. So that is, we'll do it next week. And Blake couldn't, you know, Hottie couldn't be here to help me, so. He's like doing, he had to go to work. It is kind of a nice green. I don't even know what color it is, but I like it. Yeah, I got my calamari going on. It looks like Gatorade. Oh, you're so funny. I just want it to dry enough so that I can add some, some stuff over it. So I just wanted it to, and I use the cheap flat paint, you guys. So if somebody asks, you know, somebody always says, well, what, what color was it? What was it? The cheap flat one, the one that is cheap, the cheap 50 cent flat paint, cheap flat paint. Well, 
Well, I'm sorry, you guys. I had every intention of... Are you kidding me? I was all excited about it. But you can't see... The, first of all, have you ever used seed beads? They're, like, so tiny. They're difficult to see anyway. Right? And so they're tiny. And then on top of it, you don't have a zoom. And then you wouldn't be... You would be just, like, looking at my hands and going... And then everybody would be asking. And it's, it's sort of something you have to concentrate on when you're doing it. It's not... Um, it's not, it's not something you can just do without some sort of concentration. Yeah, this is a little neon, yeah? It's some neon pink going on. I might even have some neon purple somewhere in here in my, in my stash here, Laurel. <laughs> Laurel and her purple. She like purple's her favorite. What's fun is after you have a whole stash of painting papers, you know, you can go through and make it just, you can make a junk journal out of all your painting papers. It's like really fun. And if you let them dry on one side, you can go back and paint them on another if you haven't put too much goop on them, you know. If you want both sides painted or one side's just got the... You know, got the text on it with nothing. So. Hi, Debbie. Welcome to For the First Time. All right, all you lurkers, say hi. Welcome to Crafting Mamas. We're all just a group of ladies who craft. And there's some gentlemen. I mean, sometimes Mr. Victor Crafter shows up, which I love him. So what have you guys been watching on YouTube this week? What have you been watching on YouTube? Tell me, tell me some of your fave YouTube things for the week. If you have some fave YouTube things for the for the week, you may not. You may not. You may not have anything. You may be like, uh, I don't know. I don't have anything favorite this week. Maybe you do. I don't know. Meander books. I made, yes, I made it. I, oh, you know, I cleaned up my table to do the beading thing. But I enjoyed making my meander book. I made like five of them. I'll show you guys on Tuesday. I'll show you on Tuesday my meander books. I'm just going to see what else I have. I have, it's not quite dry. Um, Debbie, I'm making painty papers. I'm sorry if you were asking me and I looked down. I'm making painty papers. So if you've never made a junk journal, junk journals are made from all sorts of papers. Um, they're made from book pages and um, music sheet pages, ledger sheet, ledger. Le a junk journal is really just about making like your art from found things. And so I'm making some painty papers. These are all from um, a, a book that I used the cover for in another journal. And so I thought, well, I would go ahead and I would, um, I would use the book block, which is the inside of the, the inside pages. I'd use the book block, um, to make some painted papers. And I might make some pockets out of these. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I might make pockets. I could make envelopes. I could make um, anything, really. I could make just the pages to fill the journal. But I also make them for um, embellishments. So if you have some background papers, you could cut them and use them for ATC backgrounds. I don't know if you're familiar with that, artist trading cards. So next week, you guys, we're going to start a series of ATCs for those that want to join us. I think we're going to do it on Tuesday. So what you need to do it if you want to come is you can get yourself a deck of playing cards because you can make your ATCs from a playing from playing cards, or you can cut your papers the size two and a half by three and a half. And what you need to do what I, what we're gonna do with me is you need a fashion magazine, okay? A fashion magazine. And 
you know, preferably an, a one that's, you know, you don't go, don't go buy one. If you're going to get one, get it from the recycling, you know, um, a fashion magazine and, um, what else? You need glue, you need glue, glue or glue stick. You can use anything. You could use, I'm thinking I might, I might, I might glue stick um, all kinds of scrap papers you could bring these painting papers that we're doing here you could do that too you could bring those along painting papers glue stick um, just trying to think of like Painty papers and glue stick. You could just trying to think like bits and pieces, scrap things, but you definitely need the fashion magazine. You definitely need a fashion magazine. Get yourself a good one, like that has good images in it, like like a Vogue or a or a do you know what I mean? Get something like that. Like a Vogue or a Bazaar or one of those magazines. Yeah, we're going to make ATCs, but you can make them out of playing cards, Mildred. So that's why I'm saying, like, get yourself some cards. Like, playing cards, I think everybody can find a deck of playing cards, you know? You can probably even get a deck of playing cards at the dollar store, yeah? So if you had a deck of cards from the dollar store... You know, that would be awesome for your painting, for your ATCs. Then you don't have to cut them. Or you can cut your, you, or you can use, you just need something. You could even make them with cardboard. If you wanted to use recycled cardboard, you could do that. Um, you know, you could, um, it doesn't matter. It's up to you what you do. Right now I'm just using some white stamp ink and some white stamp ink on your, and just a stamp. It's a Stampin' Up stamp, I don't know what which one. Somebody gave me a set of them. They're all swirly and I like those. You could use old made cards. <laughs> If they're three and a half by five and a half. That's awesome that you found your cards. Good, Carrie. Your husband asked what you were going to do with your cards. You know what? And also, too, many times you can go to a thrift store and you can get some really cool cards. Um, they don't have to be spectacular, you guys, because we're going to cover them. All right? We're going to cover them. But you need your fashion magazine and you need some sort of background pages or painty papers. Um, you could you bring your serendipity paper along. Uh, you need to cut out some words. So you should cut out, like, positive words, like empowering words. Positive empowering words. That are empowering to you, whatever that is. You know, I don't know what empowers you, so positive empowering words. Cut out that. I would not use old vintage baseball cards. I would not use, they're probably worth a ton. I would not use that. I would just get, you know, worst case scenario, go to the dollar store, or you guys have yard sales. Tomorrow, Saturday, go to yard sale and buy a, buy a couple of decks of, uh, of cards. You can make your ATCs anything out of any size. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna use playing cards, cut up a book, box, just like Ash said she cut up hers um, from box. So cut, up, cut them up. Cut them up from a food packaging box. The thing that you do need is that because I wouldn't just use a three, a two and a half by three and a half piece of paper. 
because you're going to be gluing and painting on it. I wouldn't because it'll just be, you want to have something kind of durable underneath it. Let me see if my, my new little stamp is dry. Oh, my new stamp's dry. Okay, let me figure out what, what I'm going to put on this. Let me find another stamp pad. Let me find a stamp pad. So, this is, guys, I don't know. This is Craft Stampin' Pad from Stampin' Up! Whisper White. What are you laughing at me, Mo? What did you say? You're so mad. I'd be upset if you used baseball cards. You can't do that. And this is a Brilliance. Remember I told you I had somebody that gave me all these crazy inks? This is like a fluorescent pink Brilliance ink. Okay. We're going to see how my... going to see how my new little marking tool works out. I'm going to check it out. My new... My new... Uh, recycled box marking tool. Oh, I like it. And the ink is kind of fluorescent. Is kind of should probably use a darker ink so you guys can see it. But I'll I'll use it a few times. This ink is not real bright. But I like it. I'll use it on. I use a darker ink on it, and then you can really see it. So it shows you you can make a marking tool out of anything, friends. You don't need, you don't have to go buy it. Make your own. Make your own out of your recycling. Hey, Sarita. <laughs> what did you say? Sign them and put each one in your journals? That's a good idea. You're playing poker with them? Is that what you said? You I like ATCs too, Sarita. I think it's like a fun way if you want to share your art without, like, you can send a few in a regular size envelope for, you know, very little money. So, you know, it's not, here it's 49 cents. I don't know what it is where you are in South Africa, Sarita. Okay, I'm going to see if I can, let me find a darker stamp pad. Let me see what I have under here. Poker, you guys are so funny. So funny. That's so whatever. You guys are a trip. So what color is this? This is basic black. So let's try it with basic black. I don't even know if this stamp pad has any has any juice in it. It may not have any juice in it. It may be dried out. I think it might be dried out. Yeah, that one's dried out. There's not much juice left in that. What did you say, Lisa? I missed it. I missed it. You guys are you guys are chatting faster than I'm getting it. You're chatting faster. Here's that set of Stampin' Up stamps. It's called. Oh, you guys. Fabulous flourishes, but have the like swirlies in it and stuff. I I like. I'm partial to that. Just looking to see if I had another stamp pad. Besides this white one, I'm, I'm into this white one. You know what? I think it's like, Carrie, I think this stamp pad has seen better days. So this friend of mine, she moved off island, and she gave me, like, all of her old stamping stuff. Like, she had big garage sales, but this one's so firm, I don't even think if you added anything to it. I'll try. I don't think if I added anything to it, it'd even work. She moved off island, and she, she sold a lot of stuff, but then, at the end, she gave me... A bunch of stuff that she she gave me a whole bunch of stuff stuff that I that's why where I got those kind of crazy colored fluorescent ones the ones that I wouldn't normally buy but we'll see maybe it will come back to life I don't know so we'll see I mean it's dead bone dry I'm telling you I mean I have some re I have some ink and I can re-ink it later on might be coming back a little. I don't know. It might need more than I can, more than I can get on it. 
but I, I'll, I'll make it, I'll bring it back to life at another time. It's not necessary. What did you guys? Sarita saying she loves South Africa, but the postal service is not functional. Oh no. So do you have, do you have friends in other places, Sarita, that bring you stuff? Like, so how do you get your, if you buy card making supplies, because I remember you telling me you love to make cards. If you buy card making supplies, where do you get them from? Hi, Sharon. Welcome. So, I just wanted you guys to see my stamp, but I don't know, I mean, my thing, but all I have here is this white ink and this pink ink, and, and I have my Tim Holtz vintage photo, but it, that, you know, that's like not a really strong... Welcome. We're happy you're here. Thanks for joining us. Where are you from, Sharon? So can you guys see it better now? Because you couldn't see it on the pink. Can you see that my little, my, um, my new mark maker, my new, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. It's probably not as clear as it could be. I can pop it on the other side. Let's see what it looks like on this side. You're from Minnesota. Awesome. <laughs> Susan says, make something with washi tape and, and rice paper. You can make anything that you're making like this with that. I, would, I don't necessarily think you need to paint your rice paper. But, so you guys get my little, my new little marking tool. I'm going to get my big papers out. I'm going to just put these to side. I may do more layers on them, but I'm just going to put them aside. So for me, I like it the busier the better because I know that I'm not going to, I know I'm going to use it as components. So it doesn't necessarily, for me, but you make your painting papers how you like them. If you don't like yours busy, don't paint them busy. You know, I, I, I like mine busy because then I have um, stuff to, I like to cut stuff out of it. I like to use my die cutting machine and die cut stuff out of it. Let me get my, let me get my next level of papers and then I, after I get my bases going, then I'll, I'll come back and paint more stuff on it. Let me just... You guys, the wind's suddenly blowing here, and now all my stuff's blowing around. So here's my... Here's the one that I just painted to the front and the back of the brown paper bag. So now I can add my... I can do my... I can do my, my stuff on it. I already got pink paint on it, because I had pink paint on my fingers. So maybe I'll put some pink paint on it then. I'll take that as an element, and I'll put some pink paint on my paint paper. What's cool about this brown paper bags, and I don't know if you... What are you talking about, you guys? <laughs> my Zoom is, you know, Mildred, I don't know if it's broken, but I couldn't get it to work. But that sounds kind of good when you say somebody's Zoom is broken. Hey, you know what? Her Zoom is broken. How's your Friday? Uh... Don't talk to her. Her Zoom is broken. <laughs> you guys just paint along. Paint along. I promise we'll do the, the snowflakes next Friday, okay? Because I know Luana can only come on Fridays, so we'll try to do it then. Right? What's cool about this um, paper bag, and I don't know if you guys, if any of you have ever used paper bags, but what's cool about it is if you, after you paint all over it and do all this, do all this on it, you can, you can sew it as well. But if you take like a, you know, a, some sort of a sealing thing, like a, like a Liquitex matte medium or gel me matte medium or Mod Podge, I know some of you guys are not, are not Mod Podge fans, it makes it feel like leather, like it gives it, it gives it like a leathery feel. Like, a, like something much more substantial than brown paper. So, I like it. I like it. I'm 
a little bit. I like the texture of things. That's why I like those Tom Clancy book pages. They're like, they're great to paint on. Like it doesn't bleed through the other side. Now I don't know if it's on the same for all of them, but the ones that he wrote, I like them. Yeah, you can sew it. You can totally sew it. I've made journals like this. Have you, haven't any of you guys made like painty paper journals and stuff like that out of out of bags? I like it. I think it. I think it's really good. I like it. I like it. it. Gives it like this really cool texture. What did you say, Sharon? Sharon, we're here every Tuesday and Friday. Tuesday, same time, Friday, same time. Aloha Friday, Kayala. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to see you. All right, Lurker, say hi. Come on, you guys. Say howdy. Please give me a thumbs up if you if you're enjoying spinning and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I want color. I want like I don't know what color I want, you guys. I want like I want like some really Awesome, awesome Sharon, and if you feel like you want to join us on Facebook, come on over. I mean, it's just a group of sharing. There's not, it's not a swapping group, so but we just share. We just share, you know, our art and what we're doing, and there's all kinds of different people. I mean, it's really cool. We have some knitters, some crocheters, some jewelry makers, soap makers, journal makers. The dollhouse lady is amazing. Don't you guys think that? Aren't you guys into the dollhouse lady? I like her. You're lurking because you're making tags for me? Okay. Crafting Mamas with an apostrophe S. Sharon, if you go down to the, the description box below the video, it'll, it'll have a link to the Facebook group. So you guys, I, you need a whole, you need 52 of your, you need 52 of your, um, I'm sorry you guys, you need 52 of your ATCs. You need 52 of your ATCs. So, if you want to make, if you want to do the project that we're going to do. The project that we're going to do is sort of inspired by Diana. Diana, Diana, Diana. My lovely Diana. She, she, um, she's yard sailing. Did you guys see the cool stuff she got? She posted it in our group. She got some really, I think it's cool. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys, did you, did anybody see it besides me? Maybe I'll use my marking tool and, and paint on the stencil. And paint on the. Um, she got some cool stuff. She got some Copic markers, which I was like, wow, that's a great score at yard sale. She's at the world, is it the longest yard sale? It's not the largest yard sale, it's the longest one. Is that what it is? Do you guys remember? It goes like, it's, it's multiple states. And she got some, she got some amazing things. She got a, a 
a brand new Cropodile in, a, in, in its packaging. And she got some markers and I don't know what else. She was just, she got some good stuff already. What did I miss? What did Brenda say that was funny? Brenda always says funny things. Brenda, you are always hilarious. You always have something going on. You are always funny. You got it going on, Brenda. Debbie, what are you making? Mildred, you don't have to be good at making ATCs. This is the, this is the whole point. You know, the whole point is just to experiment, okay? The whole point is to have fun. It's not like you have to have it perfect. And you definitely don't have to have it perfect here. It's about having fun. There's going to be some things that you're going to be automatically really good at right away. And then there's going to be some things that, you know, you just have to go with the flow and see how it works out for you. And, you know, you just have to let go with it and not, it's the world's longest yard sale, 127. I think people do take yard, vacations to that yard sale. Kayla, you're right. I'm liking this paper too, Edna. It's a brown paper bag painted with white, pink, and then I think that was copper. Oh, you guys, it was like, it was a metallic one. I don't know. Maybe it was either, it might have been this one, antique copper. That's, you know, I think this one's like $2 at the big box store that I refuse to name. You guys, I just don't think they need, I don't think they need me to name them. <laughs> I think they do well on their own. It's 690 miles, and Oh, my goodness. You guys, I think I'd be afraid to go to that yard sale for myself, personally. Because, like, well, first of all, I couldn't bring it. You'd have to be, like, a knee-jerk shopper to go to that, right? Because if it's 690 miles and it's, like, four days or something, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's, like, you have to, like, be able to pull the trigger, like, right away. You know, you have to be able to go, like, I'm buying that right now. Oh, Lisa, it's awesome. You just got to have a good attitude and just try. It's like, you know, you guys, you can't take yourself too seriously, and you can't worry about not being good at it. You just have to try. If I don't show you guys enough mess-ups on my own thing, I don't know who can. I mean, I'm always messing up. You'd be broke after the first mile. <laughs> she took a trailer, Susan. They took a trailer to this yard sale. Like, they're serious. They're like some serious yard selling going on there. They took a trailer. They hitched up a trailer to their car for all the stuff they're going to buy. I think that's cool, though. You know, it's like, you know me and my recycling. I'd be, like, all into it. But I think the hard part for me is, like, First of all, I live so far away. If I went to that yard sale and had to bring all that stuff back here, forget it. But I think I would be like one of those sort of shoppers who's like, oh, I don't really need it, but I want it. And, and then somebody, while well, I'm standing there like thinking about it, somebody comes and buys it. You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think that's the kind of shopper I am. I don't think I'm a, I don't think, <laughs> think I'm a pull the trigger kind of shopper. It is a lot. Well, I think you guys are going to like these ATCs. I don't want to give away too much of it because it's going to be fun. But I've made, I don't know, I've made four or five already just with this theme. And 
I think you guys are going to like it. You know, that might be something we could swap in our group, ATCs. You know, because that's not a really big commitment. That's a 49 cent commitment. You're a cheapo. <laughs> Carrie, you're making me laugh. You're a cheapo whip for making ATCs or for going to yard sales. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm a cheapo, but it definitely, like, um, it definitely, like, a bargain if I'm gonna, you guys, I don't buy anything really anymore. I mean, I did have to, I bought school supplies yesterday and I splurged and bought myself, you know, six erase, two packages. <laughs> packages, two, three 50 cent packages of erasers, and I bought myself some Elmer's Extreme and some Elmer's Glue, and I bought, I don't know, what else did I buy? I didn't really buy myself much of anything, but I didn't even buy myself any composition books. Usually I do, but I didn't this year. Because you guys, I have so many papers and stuff I don't need anymore. Like, I can make my own form of a composition book out of this. Oh my god, who slashed my painting? One of your hilarious. You're a cheapo at card sales? ATC with abandon. You're you're absolutely right. You can't find good stuff at yard sales? I'm not going to give away the theme, Debbie, but all you need to do is come with a fashion magazine and 52. I like to make it a deck of, car, of ATC cards. So come with 52, or just come with a few. The goal is to make 52. We're obviously not going to make 52 at one time. We'll do it over a period of time. Um, and it'll be fun, and I think it'll be a, it'll be a theme that you all can relate to. So it's fun. Yeah, they're two and a half by three and, and a half inches, and you decorate them. These are going to be decorated with. Um, you're going to, you need some sort of an empowering word or quote. You don't have to have it all in the first get-go, okay? If you can come with, like, bring, like, five words that you feel are empowering, you know? Bring five words that you feel are empowering, and I'm going to do some other color on here, but I can't. Bring five words that you feel are empowering, and a fashion magazine and some painty papers for some background because you know your ATC and we'll do it on Tuesday. Yeah, we're gonna do it on Tuesday, Kathy. We'll do it, we'll do, maybe we can do one every time. Like maybe we can do one on Tuesday and we can do one on Friday too, but we'll focus on it on Tuesday because Friday we have to do the snowflakes because you guys have made so many snowflakes. I don't even wanna show them to you because I want you guys to be surprised when you see them. I've made so many, first of all, I hadn't made them in years. I used to make them with my kids and then I had to reteach myself how to do it. I was like, how did I do it? You know? And so, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm splattering. I told you somebody gave me these really cool recollections things, but they don't, um, they don't come out. We'll do ATCs. We'll do them on Tuesday, and we'll also do one on Friday, too. We can do an ATC on Friday. We can do an ATC warm-up on Friday, or we can do ATCs and snowflakes. So that, that way, if nobody wants to do, if, for those that want to do snowflakes, they can do some snowflakes, and we'll do an ATC on Friday, too. Okay, the edges need some, the edges need some paint. The edges need paint. Okay, let me see what do I want. Um, what did, what did you say? Every time better will like to be on and on you guys might I'm not yeah it just You just threw away a hundred packs of cards from Vegas. Why would you throw away any cards? You can give those away. Kids love to play cards. I played Crazy Eights with my daughter yesterday. T 
today's beverage of choice is still Herba Mate green tea. Somebody always asks me what I'm drinking, and I'm telling you now, okay, I need, I need to find another color. I think I would like a, maybe a dark purple. You didn't know about crafting then? Well, if you have friends that go to Vegas, they give cards away all the time. You know, when I lived there for five minutes, you could get cards anywhere. You could get some card. You could get some. You could get some serious cards anywhere. Serious, serious cards anywhere. Um, I just need a baby wipe. Where did I? You guys, I saved. Do you guys save your baby wipes? I saved them. Like the the ones that I've used, like for drawing paint and water and stuff. And I save them and I make them into painty. I like them as painty paper stuff, so I just got to decide my paint. I wanted some purple, but I can't, I'm not able to, I'm not able to locate my purple. I found my purple here. I have a little bit of purple, but not much. I don't even think it's a shade of purple that I wanted. But well, we'll use it anyway. See if, we'll see if you like it. I hardly have any left. I must, I must have loved this purple because there's hardly any left. It's too light of a shade. I need a darker one. But what is it? I guess we won't be doing purple. We'll do some blue. Do some blue. You can't. The purple is too light. You can't even see it. What are you guys writing? <laughs> yes, baby wipes that you have used to wipe up paint with can be used to make things. Yes. So that's what I'm using. I mean, I save. I don't have any kids, you guys. The only baby wipes, the only time I ever used baby wipes was to wipe off my jelly, wipe off the jelly plate that I have, or to wipe off my stamps and stuff like that. So I use, I use them for stuff like that. You guys making some like bad joke about used baby wipes? I know you guys. You're like so bad. You guys are ridiculous. Is it Susan? Is she making the bad jokes or is it Brenda? Who's making it? Who, who's telling the dirty jokes over there, okay? Has to be two, one of two people, Susan or Brenda. Who is it? Is it you, Susan? Nitrish. Maybe we'll see you on Tuesday. If you're around on Tuesday, join us. We would love to have you and see you. We're going to be working on our ATCs. So if you don't have any deck of cards, come with something else. Come with your paper. Come with your cut up cereal boxes and 2 by 3 And you'll need paint. You need like at least you could use cheap white acrylic paint, but you definitely need something. If you're not gonna cover it with your painted papers, if you're gonna if you're gonna use your painting papers as your cover, then you just need some, you know, glue to glue it down with. But if you want to paint your cards, you need something to paint it out with first. Like you need I don't know, gesso or cheap white acrylic paint. Um, also, if you're going to make them on playing cards, bring a little piece of sandpaper if you're going to paint on them because it's always good to sand, just lightly sand the top before you, um, before you add stuff to it because then it, it adheres to it.
Hi Trash. So what do you guys have what are your big plans for the weekend? I want to hear what everybody's plans are. So I know Diana's yard selling, so we know what her plans are. <laughs> what is everybody else's plan? What's your plans for the weekend? What's your plans? You can use an emery board. Yes, absolutely, Carrie. You can use an emery board. You can use a piece of sandpaper. If you're going to use sandpaper, get the finer grit. You don't want, like, some heavy grit. It'll just take the whole thing off. You just want to, you know, I usually, although the last few times I've made those tags, I haven't, but I usually, um, I usually sand them. Just to sand, you know, packaging tags, just to sand the the shine off of it. It just makes it easier to glue stuff to it. That's all. Uh, yeah, you can work on filling your meander book if you want. I mean, yeah, you can collage in it. Absolutely. Or You know what, if you have pictures of it depends on what you're gonna do with it. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna use, an, if you wanna use your meander book as like a, like a glue book, you can, or you can use it like I made one that has pictures of my daughter in it. Like I made, put pictures of her as like a little baby book. It's a really cute little baby book, you know. It's a really cute gift to give to somebody. If you make one of those meander books and, you know, with the holidays coming up, you could give them as, like, little photo albums, especially if you or people that have pets, you know, put, put the pictures of their pets in it. Quotes in it. Yep, definitely. Somebody said they were going to put Bible quotes in theirs. Susan says she's going to feng shui or wang chung tonight. She's not sure. Oh, my God. I haven't thought about that song. It's so ridiculous. Luana, you could make one for your little baby, for your new baby. Night, Mary. Lisa, you know what? Just you, magazines from the 40s and the 50s is fine. What's it? Eva, what's a bunny event? You have to tell me what your bunny event is. What is your bunny event? Okay, I need to paint the edges. The edges definitely need something. They need something. The edges need something, something. Maybe some purple. Um, what's your bunny event, Eva? You did get a score. That is a great score, Lisa. That is a really good score. Fabulous score. Good, good score. You guys, I got a really good score of Life magazines from the 40s and the 50s. They're in my garage, of course. But some of them are so cool. I've used some of them. Not all of them, but I've used some of them. Okay, I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my heat gun and try to You're going to a garage sale tomorrow? That sounds like fun. Be like Brenda. We all need to be like Brenda. Did you see the cool soap Brenda made? She made some amazing soap. You see flags? <laughs> Oh my God, Luana. I'm not even going to repeat that. You guys all read what Luana wrote then. It does sound like fun. GT Designs, her name is Renee. 
she has an amazing little Etsy shop if you go over and check it out. She sells all sorts of vintage stuff and she sells really cool vintage shrimp journal kits too. You guys are so bad. I'm not even going to even respond to it. <laughs> so then I'm not selling anything. I just, you know what, I just don't want it in our Facebook group, and I'll tell you why. So I used to moderate another Facebook group, and we were very lenient, and then like some people came in and then they just started like trying to sell all their stuff all the time and so like people that were genuinely there to like craft and get to know each other and to hang out with each other instead of all that they were you know they were barrage with sale posts and and it got to be like a turn off and you know what I think there's enough selling groups on Facebook that you don't need to ours doesn't need to be that that's just my opinion though what do I know that's my opinion that is my opinion. Opinion, opinion, opinion. And I'm not criticizing people for doing their selling. I mean, everybody has to make a living, and, you know, everybody has to. But, you know, my feeling is this. Look, this is my Facebook group. I don't want any selling on it. Go sell somewhere else. Like, there's so many selling things. I'm there to get to know you guys. I'm not there, like, to, to market, you know. I'm not there to market myself. You know, I'm there to get to know you guys, and, you know, it all started organically out of this, like, little stream that I, you know, I don't even know why I decided to stream you guys, I can't even remember, I don't even remember, maybe one of you guys does, I don't know, if you've been watching my YouTube channel a while, I haven't had it that long, just a couple of years, and... You know, it's just mainly, I started my YouTube channel as a crafting, to help another friend of mine who had a Facebook group. And so, so, you want to see a stitch bookery? What does that mean? So look, I don't mind mentioning people that I, that I would buy from on lot here, but I'm not going to, I don't. I just don't want it to be, you know, I just don't want it to be like that. Because I, I really, you know, if it's all, if it gets all clogged up with your, with whatever you're selling, you can't, you can't see it. What's a stitch bookery? You know, there is a space on there I've, I've put, there's files in there that say, you know, put your YouTube channel. I haven't invited people to put their Etsy shops there because honestly... You want to, to drum up business for yourself? Start your own Facebook group. You know? If I'm not selling my stuff, why would I want to have other people sell their stuff? You know? And there's lots of selling groups already. There's lots of really good selling groups on Facebook. You know? My thing is this. If, if you see something, if somebody posts something in our group and you like it and you'd like to buy it, personal message them message them. Say, hey, you know, I want to buy something from your, from your, you know, like, if you saw something somebody made, you said, hey, do you sell that? You know, message them on the side. You don't need to do it, you know. I think what happens is people feel really comfortable in our group, and so then they think, oh, well, I'll just do this, you know, and that's all great, but, you know, just, don't do it. But I would buy one of your vintage kits, Renee. I like it, and I would buy one. I think they're good. I like them, and I think that what you sell, you sell them for good value. You have things for um, a reasonable, for the amount of stuff she gives, it's a very reasonable price. And if you're interested, you can go look at her YouTube channel, because I think she does definitely has, she posts, and she does some really rocking giveaways. And... 
you know, it's like, it's really cool. But she also sells other vintage stuff, too. She sells other cool stuff. So. What did you say about... You don't allow any things like that in cheer in cheer boxes. What don't you allow in cheer boxes? I missed I missed what you guys are talking about. Carrie makes cheer boxes. She also has a Facebook group. So if you guys feel like you've made a lot of cool art that's PC because she sends it to military wives and you don't know where they're living, you know? So the last thing you need to do is send somebody something to a country that they would be jailed for it, you know? And you're just sending them a, an ATC or whatever. Um, go over and join our group. It's on Facebook. And she, if you go into the the files in our group, they'll, there is a group where you can post in the files where you can post your Facebook group and you can post your YouTube channel. And the reason I ask you to do it there is because then it doesn't clog the whole feed up with everybody's Facebook group and everybody's YouTube channels. But your, your Facebook group can't be a selling group, okay? What are you going to put on there, Eva? <laughs> what happened? What did I miss, Mildred? Group hug. What did I miss? Oh, because I went on my rant about sales? Because I'm not anti-sales. I'm not. I'm really not. But, you know, I feel like... I feel like it, it can make it out of hand. Someone sees what you don't. What I I don't see anything. Everybody's giving each other a group. Okay, okay. What did I do? Did I upset you guys? I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to upset you. I'm just painting some brown bags. Okay. I'm just painting some brown bags. Then do my brown bag painting. I'm doing some brown bag painting. I might actually sew this one into a journal cover. I'm, I might do some more painting on it. It's a little bit sticky right now, but I might sew it into the journal cover. You know, like I might, maybe I'll mod pot, maybe I'll collage some bits on it and make this the front and then fold it up and sew it up and make this the back, make this the inside. Don't know. The one thing about this is when you make it out of brown bags is that you definitely have to, um, Definitely, if you're going to make it as a journal cover, you would want to put some sort of a stabilizer in it. Like like I was telling you guys earlier, your used, your used FedEx envelopes. Group hug to me, too. <laughs> I'm not trying to get you guys upset. It's just that, you know, every single day, I have to go through and delete people. Like, I feel like they come... And I feel like, and I'm grateful that you guys want to hang out with me. Trust me, I am. I love it. You're my crafty peeps. But every day they come, they don't read the guidelines to the group, and then they start posting their stuff, and then they just post their self-promotion. And, you know, my feeling is get your own group. You know, it's like, it, it's one thing if it's for everyone, but it's another thing if it's just for you. And I'm like, okay, we'll get your own group. I'm good with that, too. You know? I am good with that, too. Okay, guys, I have my papers lying everywhere, and I just, I can't even, I've got painty papers, I've got my white paper here. It definitely takes a different, what happened, what did I miss? Carrie, you're so funny. Joint yet, you should go, you guys should go and join, if you feel like you can give. I mean, I don't know what type of things, Carrie, what type of things do you ask for when people join your group? To, to to donate or to work on or to I think I want to make this one 
What do you mean? Oh. Abyssin inspired for the group hug? Oh, okay, Lana. I love you guys. I really do. And I have to say, I'm really appreciative for your posts and for you guys always being kind and caring to each other. In this time, in this day and age, when there's just so much crap going on that could take you the other way, I'm appreciative that you guys come on and I'm really appreciative that you guys are really nice to people that, like, some of these people, this is their first crafting group experience. You know, I've had people like write me like, I'm in other groups, so this is the first one I feel like I can participate in. And, you know, or I'm inspired because everyone seems to be complimentary here. My only rule is you can't hate on anybody and you can't sell your stuff. Now, if you want to post your stuff and somebody sees something they like and they personal message you, how about it? You know? And that's how I found out about Phaedra's dolls. I mean, I, I, met, I mean, first of all, I was Phaedra, I, Phaedra and I were friends before I started the Facebook group. I mean, she was my YouTube friend, right? And then, um, then I had, you know, seen, she posted some of her dolls in our group, and I messaged her, and I said, how much are your dolls? I'd like one. I have to wait till we finish our kitchen renovation. I need a new stove first. You guys, I looked at stoves. Well, you don't have to craft. I'm glad everybody feels welcome because I love you girls. I really do. You guys, I have to tell you, I expelled that guy in our in our group. I expelled the guy in our group. You guys, he he posted some pornography thing that I'm so naive I didn't even see it. You guys, I'm so ridiculous, so I expelled him. If anybody's looking for the guy in our group, I expelled him. You may have more than one guy, but <laughs> the guy that posted his pockets, I exposed, I expelled him. Helen, did you mean you never throw your things away? What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh my god. It is your group. It is everyone's group. And that's what I want it to be. I want it to be a community of people where you feel like you can post your stuff, where you feel like you can do your stuff. You know, it's not like, I want you to feel like it's your thing too, because it all started here, you guys. It started with you guys enjoying each other and then I would get messages after I get off of this live stream and people would say like, I had so much fun, and then, you know, and I wanted you guys all to have your crafty best friends and find the people that you feel like you, that you gel with, whether they do paper crafting or not. Yeah, that's the one thing I can say. You saved the picture? What did you save a picture of? <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. No, his name wasn't Joe. I don't want to say his name, okay? But I expelled him. He, 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 he posted. Okay, first of all, his art. Okay, I'm not very critical of people's art, okay? But it was like a little provocative. And it was like a little, and it wasn't even good provocative. I mean, there's like good nude pictures. And then there's like sort of like skanky nude pictures. And his were like, I don't know. So, that was the first thing. And that should have been a red... And I was trying not to be a prude. Okay? I was trying not to be a prude. Well, I'm sure Susan saved the picture so she could she can show it to you. Okay? <laughs> anyway, I was trying not to be a prude. And we were all being very complimentary toward his stuff. Okay? Even though, I have to tell you, the compliments were far-reaching. But I really appreciate you girls. You know what? You practiced exactly what our mother said. If you don't have something nice, don't say anything. And you girls were like really PC. And I was like, wow. You know, that I was really grateful for that. You girls were like awesome there. Okay? Then, okay, then he kept posting them. And they were like, oh, and they weren't very good. Okay? I'm not going to lie. They weren't very good. But I didn't like, I don't like to discourage anyone. Especially because, you know, art is such a personal expression. I'm sure somebody watching thinks that my painting papers are horrible. I don't really care. But anyway, so 
then we flash forward, then one day he posts this thing. And you guys that saw it will remember, he said, oh, I fixed my pockets or something, okay? I fixed my pocket or something. And I was like, I was like, seriously? I was like, okay, this guy's in, in search of attention. And I was like, all right, well, because, I mean, I'm a... I used to be a costume designer, so I'm a seamstress, so I, you know, I can re I, but I was like, looking at it, and I was like, I think they come that way, you know, like, I'm like so slow, you guys, I give everyone the benefit of the doubt, every single person the benefit of the doubt, okay? His pictures were totally personal, okay, so, he did mildly bad graffiti art, and he did pictures of Symbolic pictures of women's private parts. Okay? And I was trying to be, like, I went to art school, you guys. I was trying to be like, okay, well, you know, that's his expression. Da 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 da. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Trying to be like all like, you know, instead of me going delete, because I have to tell you guys, I was like, but I was trying to be more open-minded instead of being like, okay, I'm just going to delete his stuff. All right. Yes. Read what Ash read. I don't want to say, say, that on, say that on say that on YouTube. So then he po posts where he, you should totally laugh. He posts pictures of his pocket. Okay. And you guys... I'm just like, <laughs> I didn't even see it at first, okay, because my head doesn't work that way, you guys, I'm not like, anyway, then someone, a member of our group brought it to my attention, and then I showed Hottie, and he was like, what, he was like so disgusted for me, and then we just had to break up into fits of laughter, because it was ridiculous, it was so ridiculous. So I expelled him from the group. So if you guys are out there searching for him, he ain't there no more. And I took all his posts off too. Because, I mean, you guys, they it was bad. Okay? And I was trying to be all like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, whatever. Or whatever. But when I saw it, when I really saw what the picture was, I just deleted him. I didn't even, usually, unless it's like the very first post. Like, we've had some very first posts that have been like, buy my this. Or, I... Oh, these supplies are so expensive. Can you give me something? Those people I expel right away. Because if you haven't read the guidelines, then you shouldn't even be in there, right? But the provocative picture part, I was like, oh my God, you guys. I was trying to be open-minded. You know what's weird is at the time that he has to join, I remember thinking, like, why does he want to join this group? I'm like, you know, not that guys can't join the group, because I've seen there are other guys that do make journals and do do crafting. And, you know, there are... There are some really, what is it, Puppin? What is it? You want to sit in my lap? Come on, get up here. Come on. You guys, the dog is like crying. Are you guys laughing so hard? Are you guys? <laughs> yeah, but okay. <laughs> Was it page 602 of this year's catalog? Yeah, something like that, Helen. <laughs> he was going to get? Did he think we were all going to go, oh, you are a god. We'll meet you. We're, this is like a virtual crafting group. A paper crafting group. Like, why in the world would you ever? I don't know, you guys. I just... It was ridiculous. It, it, it's just indicative of my life, right? Let's just say his Zoom wasn't broken. Okay? <laughs> Lisa, I don't know how I decide when enough's enough. But see, these are going to be painty papers, so they're going to have multiple layers. And if I don't like it, I can go back over it and put, like, a different coat to cover a mask, right? You just have to let it to dry in between. But I'm never, most of the time I don't use them straight as they are. I use them for, okay, do you guys get it? Do you guys get, <laughs> yes, excited by origami. <laughs> my god you guys it was ridiculous it was like and I was so stupid I'm so gullible like 
You know, I'm so gullible. Okay, it's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gullible. I'm completely gullible. You guys, I still believe in the good in the world. I still believe. You no, know, but I probably should have, like, written him a note and said, you know what, what do you hope to gain from this? I mean, it was like one of those guys that stands on the side of the road yelling at you, hey, mama, you know? It was like, I should have probably written him, like, a, a real scolding note, like, what what is wrong with you? I should have probably shamed him into, like, never joining another crafting Facebook group again. But I was just, like, I just deleted him. <laughs> do you guys see? Do you guys see? I cannot make this stuff up. It happened in our group. Okay? And you guys have to police it for me because I don't see the post. Like, I don't see people selling the post all the time because I'm not on there all the time. And I'll see people selling posts of dogs trying to try, jump in my lap and she can't. Here, give me your baby and I'll throw it for you. So. <laughs> I do, Luana. I focus on the good in the world. I do. You guys, even with all the stuff that I'm going through with my former person, you know, my former husband. I really, it wasn't until really, really recently that I realized he was not a good person. And you know what? I've never thought that about anyone. Like, I'm not out to get anyone. I don't want anything from anyone. I don't have any, like, ulterior motive. I'm not, it's just not how I roll. <laughs> See, the ridiculousness comes no matter where I am. What did you tell me, Susan? Susan, when I retired, when I, I texted her earlier or whatever, and I said, I can't make snowflakes, my Zoom won't work. What did you say to me? You see, see how ridiculous my life is, or what, did, what is your quote that I say? I don't even know I say it, you guys. That's how ridiculous my life is sometimes. <laughs> yes, you're right. Helen says, Shelly, Texas girls are raised to be nice until the point of murder, and it's not our fault. <laughs> Ellen, you are exactly right. Oh my God. Uh, Susan, we didn't see it. Okay. Cause we don't see it because you know what? I don't, I didn't see it. And the stupid thing was I actually looked at the post. I was like, why would he post this? I did not see it. Okay. I didn't see it. 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 You guys, <laughs> oh lord, you guys, it's ridiculous. So I booted him, just in case any of you were looking for him, who want to comment on his artwork, on his Zoom. <laughs> oh lord, you guys, do you see, like, I can't go anywhere, this stuff follows me. <laughs> yes Susan was the one that saw it I didn't see it and then she like texted me I'm like oh my god and then I had to take and then what I did was I I didn't even save a picture of it but I sent one to, to Hottie I said what do you see here and he was like who is that lewd person and like he saw it immediately too so that just tells you guys you guys I really do believe in the good of the world I really do believe that there is a better, higher plan, and it's not all about. <laughs> oh, thanks, Carrie. It's going to hit its ugly stage, I'm sure. But when you know you're cutting it up for other things, it's not like that. Yes, 
Alan, was there something wrong with this pocket? <laughs> oh my god, my side hurts now. <laughs> you guys when I think about it okay can you imagine waking up in the morning and going uh-huh I'm gonna go over to Facebook and I'm gonna stalk those crafting ladies and I'm gonna show them what's in my pocket <laughs> oh lord I mean like what did he think I was like <laughs> you know what it had me talking oh god it <laughs> It's almost as yes, it's almost better than calamari. <laughs> but you guys, it had me and Hottie talking. He and I were like talking, cause you know he has sons too, you know. So like we were like talking about like what people think, and it's just it got us the whole thing anyway. Anyway, <laughs> yes, and we can all have a we can all have a laugh over what's in my pocket. Oh my god, you guys. This is so crazy. So ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> yes, Cassandra, he hung out with us. That's right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh lord, you guys. It was ridiculous. And I'm like trying to be all like, well, oh, you know. I should have deleted him the moment I saw the pictures the first time when he was doing his really bad graffiti art. I was trying to be open-minded. I was trying not to be a prude. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God. You know, anybody that watches this, they're going to be like, what in the world? <laughs> yeah, but you know what's even worse, okay, is that it took a jury to boot his ass out of the group, okay? It was just like me and Susan was like, what do you think? I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even see it. And then I showed, I showed how he was like, oh my, he knew exactly. And then, we, and then I went and I deleted him. I deleted all his posts and oh my God, you guys. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh my God. But, but what in the world would people, what, I mean, what would you hope to gain by like posting something like that a date? A date? I mean, no, seriously. Let me jump through the computer and date you. I saw your pocket. I mean, seriously. Lord, and your bad drawing skills? I mean. <laughs> oh, my side hurts now. <laughs> Pickup line. Look, look, I hemmed my pocket. Or what did he write, Susan? Look what I have. He didn't even say, look what I have in my pocket. He says, I hemmed my, my fix my pocket or what? <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh my God. All right. I need some bright orange in this painting. And I need like a different tool than a circle. And I don't know what I, oh, I have this. Oh, Lord, you guys. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh. Oh, my God. Uh. It was ridiculous. It was... It, you guys, it's like... It's like, who can make this shit up? You can't even make it up. <laughs> Oh, Lord, you can't even make it up. It's, like, so silly and ridiculous. Like, seriously, it's, like, I don't know. Oh, my God, you guys, seriously. Okay, it's not doing it. Maybe I'll need to get my jelly plate. You know me and my jelly plate, and I have it somewhere right here. 
Oh, Lord, you guys. It was, thank you for the laugh. Thank you, rude man, for the laugh. <laughs> Mildred says, I'm gullible. She says, you're gullible and I'm old enough to know better. <laughs> Mildred, you know what? It was like, it was for me. It was like, I was just trying to be like, you know, sometimes I can find like, I don't want to be judgmental against people that I don't know, but I was just trying to be all zen with it. I was like, okay, well, the, his art's bad, and that's a little provocative, but, you know, all right, let's just see. But the second post, Susan was right, okay? <laughs> your mom is sleeping, and you had to shut your door. Oh, I'm sorry, Cassandra, we're waking your mother up. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I'm using my jelly plate like a stamp. Oh, I'm sorry. I woke your mother up. Oh, oh Lord. Help me. That, uh. See, so he was good for something. <laughs> I just wonder what men like that think of when they post stuff like that. You know, it's like... No, it's like serious. It's like, what do they possibly think of? But we had this conversation, Heidi and I, I'm like, we have to talk to the boys. And he's like, they would never do that. He said, Shelly, they, they know you. They would never dream in their wildest life to even remotely say or do anything like that. I'm like, but this, this person's a grown man and he's doing it. You know, it's like, oh my God. Ugh, you guys, I needed that laugh. I didn't even know I needed it, but I did. I needed the laugh. I needed the laugh. <laughs> oh, Danita. Oh, you're not feeling good. Oh, no. <laughs> I I couldn't get this. You couldn't get this laugh at a comedy show. You know, I feel like my life's a comedy show, Fiona Jane. I feel like I don't even have to go anywhere. I can just, like, show up. I can just wake up in my life today, and it'll be like a comedy show. I can't help it. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Okay, this needs like, I don't know what it needs. It needs like brighter colors or something. I'm like not, ugh. Well, I know I'm going to cut it up so it's not like the end of the world, but I know it's going to end up being cut up into little bits and pieces or whatever I'm going to do with it, but it needs some, it needs some, oh my god. Nina, we were just laughing so hard. I hurt myself, I think. I think I <laughs> I think I hurt myself laughing. Oh my god, you guys. I think I hurt myself laughing. I really do. I think I did. I think I hurt myself. Ugh. Danina, we were laughing. We were laughing at the guy who I if I think about Mr. Laughing again. I was telling them I had to boot the guy one of the guys in our Facebook group out. The man I don't know if there's more than one man. We we decided after that not to accept any more men. Just Unless they had crafting groups in their, in their, um, unless they had crafting groups in their, you know, in their profile, which sometimes you can't see, and, you know, it makes it a little bit hard. Anyway, Danina, he posted, I don't know if you saw it, but he posted in our group, he po posted some sort of, like, half ridiculous lady part art. <laughs> He posted some half ridiculous lady lady part art and then like I don't know was it like a week later or two weeks later I don't even know he posted this picture of these pants and he and the pockets were like the pants were like orange or something and then the pockets were black and he said he fixed his pants or something fixed his pockets or something and and I and, and I was like looking at it and I was like because I'm a sewer and I was like well you know what's like and I didn't even and then I get this message from Susan, and she's like, <laughs> she was like, did you, did you really, did you, didn't you say something like, did you really like his sewing, or did you say something like that, Susan, to me? <laughs> Put it this way, Danina. He he was very proud of his pocket. Bye, Laurel. I love you. 
Anyway, he was very pr- he was very proud of his pocket. Okay, Danina, his pocket, his pocket. <laughs> He's very proud of fixing his pocket. And he, can you imagine? He was showing us a little. His pocket was a little. <laughs> tore his pocket to Nina, but put it this way, oh my god, Susan showed me it, and I was like, oh my god, and it, you know the real, <laughs> the ridiculous thing is I got, I got Hadi and I talking about, like, like, what, I was like, I was like, I was so incensed by the whole ridiculousness, good night, Laurel, I hope you have a sweet dream, it got me so incensed by the whole, like, ridiculousness of like whatever he said or whatever it was that I was like I was like I was like on it I was like so haughty I was like why do men do this this is ridiculous like who would ever and I just went off on this like tangent of like why and what and you know what was he thinking and all this stuff and anyway it was very it got us talking anyway I was just telling everybody and I don't know why it made me laugh so hard I guess because I guess once you really think about the ludicrousness of, like, somebody posting in your group something lewd, you're just like, what? What's up with that, you know? And it was it was sort of borderline. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, Lord. I guess I really needed to laugh, and I didn't know I needed to. It was ridiculous. You missed it entirely. You missed the... Oh, my God, you guys. So after that, I said to the girls, I go, can we not have any more guys? I said, I'm not, I'm not against men, but can we not have any guys? I'd really like it. I'd like it if we could just be guy-free. You know, it's like, it needs to be like a guy-free zone because that was just too much. It was too much. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I can't help it. It's ridiculous, I know, but it's just so, oh, Lord, help me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking I'm liking it better now that I have the purple over it. I wasn't liking the copper was copper is fine on its own. It just looked weird on this paper. You guys, and it's ridiculous because this is just a paper bag. You know, I don't know what it's gonna end up being, but now, now it's gonna have like a purple overtone to it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Helen. I hope you guys do some painty papers, and I hope you don't get deterred by my ridiculousness and. You know, there's no rule to paint your papers. <laughs> oh my god, my side hurts now. Oh lord. I guess I really needed that laugh. <laughs> oh, it was too much. You're right, Debbie, it was too much. Okay, I'm liking it better now. I'm liking it much better now. But you have to realize that these are gonna be components to something. So they may can be they can be ugly as painty papers. But they're going to be components in something. They're not going to ever be standalone. Oh, my. Oh, my ribs hurt, you guys. Oh, my ribs are really hurting. Well, I guess he was good for something. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh, you guys. That is so, it was just too much. Uh, it's good to be a little gullible, Luana. I think I'm just like, and, I, and I'm not, because I've lived all over the world. It's not like I live my life in a bubble, but I just try to see the good in everyone. Like, I try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt, you know? I just try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. That's all. Oh, Lord. I needed that laugh. I didn't know I needed that laugh, but I did. I needed that laugh. <laughs> You'll never look at a pocket the same way. Oh my God, Carrie, I should have saved the picture so you guys could have all seen it, but I was just so... <laughs> you think he's listening? Oh, I don't care. Let him listen. <laughs> Maybe he thought he was the next Levi's God for modeling. Maybe. Who knows? I. It was just like... Oh my God. You know, I used to live in New York City, and you know, there are like, used to be these construction crews in the 80s, at least, in the 80s and the 90s. I mean, I moved, I moved, I left New York City in 2000, 
When did I, we move here? Well, I finally, I mean, I came, I think, at the end of... I finally, like, let go of everything in 2010, but I was here for a couple years before that. And so... Yeah, you have to weed people out of a group. You have to. You have to. Um, people used to stand on the street, like construction crew guys, and they would yell. Like, they would yell, like, hey, mama, or whatever. And you know what? I used to sometimes say, do you think, like, I would, especially when I had kids, okay? I, when I was, maybe when I was younger, I didn't say much because I was, you know, I was going to school or going to college there or whatever and that sort of thing. But once I had a daughter, you know, and they would do that, I would, like, stop and say, do you have kids? Do you have a wife? Like, who would appreciate that, you know? And get them really thinking and, and just say stuff like, you know, I said, what's your wife's name? Because I'm going to call her and I'm going to see if she'd like some guy doing that to her. And, you know, they would stop and... It, it got to be, because, you know, if you walk the same way, you live in a neighborhood in New York City, you're walking the same way all the time. It's not like you're going, you know, unless you're, you know, just doing a one trip, a trip somewhere, right? So, I used to call people out on it. I would be like, do you honestly think that's attractive? Do you honestly think, first of all, do you think any woman finds that, like, appealing? Anyway, I said, would you find that appealing if somebody was, you know, and I used to get into conversations with them, and then later on, like, they would see me come in and be like, oh, no, because, <laughs> you know, I didn't want my young daughter, like, thinking that's the way that, but I can't imagine that people think that that's a way to get attention, you know? <laughs> ah, I booted his butt in his pocket, too. <laughs> Definitely, Carrie, I agree with you. You hope he's lurking, maybe his pocket will shrink. <laughs> Oh, Lord, you guys, I'm telling you, it's, like, so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Oh, my God, my side is killing me. My side is literally killing me. Why are you crying? Nobody's doing anything to you. What are you crying for, Pepin? What are you crying for? She wants, she wants me to play, you guys. She can't help herself. She's so cute. What are you doing? What are you doing, Pups? What you doing, Puppin? Oh my god, a pocket full of calamari, definitely. <laughs> oh lord. He was like ridiculous. Oh my god. That was a good laugh though. He did he gave us a good laugh. He totally gave us a good laugh. Oh my god, you guys. See see it doesn't matter what I do and where I go. The ridiculousness follows. But you're right. It's like that's why if somebody's mean to you in our group, you have to tell us. You have to, like, tell one of the admin. You have to just say, or whatever, because I don't want to, I don't want to encourage anyone. I don't think anyone would be, but I don't want to encourage anyone, you know, like that. I think I'm, I think I'm into the purple whitewash. No, it's Charlie. It's my Charlie pup. Charlie's, like, right here. She's right here at my... She wants me to play with her. Where's your baby? Go get your baby. What it is is the kids brought her in. They 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 play with her. They had her outside with them, but then and she thinks she's one of them, so she wants to be back out there. But they want to ride bikes, and she and there's cars that drive. I mean, even though we live in a in a cul-de-sac, there's there's cars that come, and so she um my daughter brought her in. She said, you know, there was today there was like some sort of want some a house in our cul-de-sac is having some stuff delivered for a renovation or something and um she was like she was like you know she didn't want to be responsible for having her there so i don't yes we are having a good time cassandra yes the dog is the dog is on the floor here she was outside playing today she has been playing she's been running oh my god so you know what happened this morning do you guys live in a neighborhood do you guys live in a neighborhood where there's like one kid that like loves your child so much they like come over and they like ask if your child can play well when I, my kids were little my older ones their friends would come over and ask if I could play okay because they would come to my house and they would knock on the door 
Shelly home. Can I? Can she come and play? I lived in New York City. They come to. I walk to our apartment. You know, knock on the door. Shelly play, or they call up. Can Shelly come over and play? Very funny. So this morning, Friday's trash day here, and you have to have your. Sometimes they pick it up as early as like 4:30 in the morning, so you got to put your trash out the night before. And then sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's like, you know, they don't come until much later. And you don't ever know. You know, it's like. I keep telling you guys it's a little third world here it is. There's not there's not a lot you gotta you just gotta go with it. You can't like you can't um night Debbie, I hope we see you again and I hope that our I hope our ridiculous laughing didn't turn you didn't make you go, what is wrong with these people? Or my ridiculous laughing. So this morning, it's like I don't know, the trash comes at like it came really early this morning. And I got up and I put the dog out at like six. At about 7.30, I hear, you know, the kids are knocking at my front door to see if my little one can come out and play. I'm like, she's not even awake yet. So, they're knocking at our door, and Hottie's still sleeping. He's like, one day to sleep in, and the kids are knocking on the door. I said, well, school starts on Monday, so they want to get every, they're like soaking up the daylight, you know? They're like... Yeah, I like the pink too. You can't really see it from where you guys are, but it has a really nice gold sheen. I don't even know if I hold it up if you can see it. Can you see the gold? It has a really nice metallic gold sheen to it. I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't. It looks really. It looks much better in person, like than it does. Um, So this is one side of the paper with the paint with the purple whitewash. And then the other side is it is sparkly. I like it. And then the this side's busy. This side's a little busy. And then that so I think if I if I cut it up, I mean it'll be good for it'll be great flowers, you know? It'll be good components. It'll be good component paper. Hi, Tina. Hi, Tina. Welcome, welcome. We're happy to see you. Anyway, so the kids were here really early this morning wanting to, like, go out and play. And the kids were, like, it was, it's been a, it was a morning already before we even got up, you know. It was, like, and then you guys, I was out there looking for his glasses, which I we did not find. He was so upset. And initially, when he lost them, he had, I didn't see him lose them, you guys. We were hauling so many banana leaves. I didn't see him lose them. I he goes, did I have my glasses on? And I'm like, I don't know. He, he's new to glasses, you guys. He's not like me who's had glasses. I've had glasses my, almost my whole life, you know? So, <clears throat> he's new to glasses. So, you know, so then we had spent the whole... <laughs> so, we were up at the crack of dawn. Then he had to fix something then... Yeah, I like this paper. This one's coming out good. I like it. And if I decide to make it a journal cover, I'll make this the outside because it's not so busy. And I'll put this on the inside. If I if I decide I want to make it like a, you know, like a, like a, you know what I'm talking about, like a traveler's notebook kind of journal, I could do it like this or the other way around. And then, bye Lisa, I hope we see you. <clears throat> yeah, well, there's a guy working on his car outside, so, anyway, so he didn't get to sleep, and then the kids were, like, yelling, you know, they were standing at the front door yelling our daughter's name at 7.30 in the morning. It was, it's been a fun day already. Yeah, this is a brown paper bag, Tina. I just painted it white or put a, a coat on it because the paper soaks up the the paint so that the pigment so that you would be able to. And then it's just got some hot pink and some cheap metallic royal gold paint on it and some purple. This purple's almost out, so I added some water to it and it made like a like a wash. Yeah, it's a brown paper bag.
Oh my God, you guys, my, my ribs are hurting from laughing. That was such a good laugh. Thank you guys so much for that good laugh. We should thank Mr. Weirdo for that good laugh. So, I wonder if I can fix this side. I would like this side to be less busy. I'm not sure what I can do. Oh my God. Yeah, Lisa, please post some of your finds. We would love to see what you find. We would love to see what you find at your yard sale. We can all shop vicariously with you. Okay? We would love it. We would love it. We would totally love it. Oh, Lord, you guys. I'm like... <clears throat> Yeah, I like this side a lot. The other one's a little too busy for me, but usually it works out fine when you're making components. Oh Lord, you guys, my my whole my whole body is like sore now. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Oh Lord, 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 that is too much. I hope you have a great time at the yard sale. I wish I was going to a yard sale with you. I wish I was going to yard sale with you. So you guys, I didn't make a lot of painted papers today. I made the front of this and the back of that. I mean, we did this one and that one. And then I made some yesterday. I started some more yesterday or day before, whenever. I made this. And I made this, which I like this one a lot too. And then I did my serendipity paper yesterday, and that was this piece that I cut it. I hadn't decided whether I was going to do a meander book or what I was going to do with it. Night, Lynn! You're right, Lynn. More people... Oh, I thought you said night. Yeah, you're right, Lynn. More people... You, more people come into your life just to give you a laugh. I agree. So this was a serendipity paper that I made yesterday. And I did the brown paper bag as the base, right? And then I wanted to show you guys, I did cut some flowers out of it. I hadn't decided if I'm gonna make a meander book with it or not. If I make a meander, that's why I didn't like cut it up yet, because I, um, I didn't decide whether I was gonna make the meander book. But I did cut out of the piece that was left over from the 12 by 12, I did cut out some flower shapes. So you guys can see that they do they do come out really cool so if you could, if you guys venture into making your serendipity paper you can have some maybe i'll put it on a different background this one's so dark let me see if i can find one that will show up better on um maybe this one because this one's just plain maybe this one will show up better but Oh my god. Yes, you're right, Lynn. Pocket Man will be remembered by all of us. So I don't know if you can see how cool they look, but it was from this serendipity paper, you know? So sometimes when you think your page is, like, not good or whatever, but you can see the end result is something like this, and you know you're going to use them as components. I made more than this, but I don't know where they are. But you can see, you know, they're, like, really pretty cool. I like the black and gold one, too. These are all brown paper bags, you guys. I, that's what I had right now. The brown paper bag. And I may put some sort of varnish on them so that, you know, they, they come out good, these little serendipity flowers. And, you know, yours are going to be different than mine because your papers are going to be different. So it doesn't matter. That's why I think the making the one-of-a-kind thing works out so much better than, at least for me. I like the black and gold too, Carrie. Oh my god, Lynn. That was such a good laugh. That was such a ridiculously good laugh. I'm, I'm like grateful for the laugh. Oh. You guys, that was so crazy. So here was my meander book that we made the other day. Okay, and I made my meander book out of a brown paper bag. So that's what started the brown paper painting. I mean, I paint on them all the time, but I wanted to make my 12 by 12 because a lot of you guys write me notes and say, I don't have the paper, I don't have this. I don't have that. So my meander book is made out of book pages and, you know, book pages on one side, right? Book pages that have all been, like, serendipity paper. And the other side was painted with some collage. I remember it was really ugly for a little bit. Well, I think I went back and I think it's much better. 
So I went back and I added, I added some, night Lisa, I added some um, collaged bits of the painting papers that I'd made, you know? So, I think it came out, I like it. I'm actually like, Scotty, take care of yourself. Yeah, you gotta take your meds. Good night, Edna. So, that's why I haven't cut up the other one yet, because I haven't decided whether I'm gonna make this piece whether I'm going to make it a meander book or I'm going to leave it and, use, and cut it up. So that's why I haven't done anything to it yet. Because I haven't decided what is going to happen with it. Yep, you can make your meander book, Nancy, with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Yeah, and then after you do it, like, you could go back and you can put, like, quotes in it, or you could put pictures, you could put, if you cut small enough pictures of anyone, right, of your family, of your friends, or, this is the one I was telling you somebody was going to put Bible quotes in theirs, you guys, my, my page, I didn't read the book pages, mine, my, mine probably, knowing how my luck works, my, mine probably has racy book pages, you guys, I didn't even look at it, I just liked the texture of the paper, I didn't read the, I didn't read what was on the page. Carrie, where do you live? They don't have brown paper bags where you are. So yeah, you can make these you can make these things. You can put anything in it. You can put you could put anything in your meander book. And you don't have to have yours be like all collage like mine. Like obviously these are too busy for a word unless you're gonna put it in big bold print. But maybe a picture would look good on that side. You know what? Is it? You guys, we're coming upon the holiday season. If you gave a meander book to somebody, especially if you have a kid in your life, doesn't matter how old they are, if you made a little meander book, which doesn't take any time to make, it's a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and if you did it like me and made it all these crazy bits and pieces, then, oh, good night, Renee. Hugs to you. Feel better? Yeah, we, we're happy that you came to hang out with us. Join our Facebook group, Renee. Please, join it. I don't even know what kind of art you do, but it would be great. And we would love it. So, if you were going to, like, this was my thought. I have to give, I have, um, I have five children in my life. I'm a, now a son-in-law. And then I have, my sister has four kids, so that's nine kids. We usually only give to the kids, right? So if I made nine meander books, just some funky little meander books, and put whatever that interested the, the person I'm giving it to, or maybe doesn't, you know, just made them some piece of art and maybe a couple of pictures of them in it. And then I made the envelope, and I showed you guys how to make envelopes, so you know how you can make an envelope for your meander book. And then you put your money in with your whatever your gift card or your money in with your meander book. That's a really nice little personal touch to a, to a gift, right? For the holidays. I can guarantee you they will keep it. It's not going to be something they're going to let go of. And it's something that you really enjoyed making. Right? So... You can put any kind of pictures in it. You know, any kind of pictures. I just used paint papers, you guys. You know me and my painty papers. You know me and my jelly, my jelly printing. Carrie, they will love a meander book. And the thing is, is it doesn't take you any time. If you, I mean, it, think about it. If you made it like I made mine, or you just made it out of scrap of paper. Thing is, if you're gonna make it out, you you just have to have. <laughs> Luana says no pocket nightmares. You're right, Luana. Oh my God. If you but you need it to be two sided. Okay, you need it to be double sided. Your meander the book the pages. So some scrapbook. If you're just gonna do it out of a twelve by twelve sheet of scrapbook paper, you need it need to do it out of. Um, 
Okay. So. Oh, ladies, I love you. Thank you for giving me a really good laugh. I really needed it. Oh, my Lord. How did I know? <laughs> Susan says she has indigestion. She needs some of the Pepto I'm painting with. All right, Susan, I'm sending it right to you. Yeah, I think these are really fun little gift ideas. I mean, and it didn't cost you very much. Oh, Sarita, I hope you sleep well. Good night. Big hugs. Big, big, big hugs. Oh, well, we're sending you so much love, Sarita. And I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're feeling a whole lot better. You know, it's just to give you some ideas of little things that you could give to people that you care about, you know? <laughs> I love you, Bet. You guys are so funny. Uh, we love you, Sarita. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. I hope you have a restful sleep. You guys send Sarita good thoughts. She's not feeling good. And it's 5.30 in the morning in South Africa. Sarita, you're such a trooper to hang out with us and watch. So, are you leaving too, Scotty? Love you, Scotty. Feel better. I love you guys. So, you know, just, I mean, it gives you, if you start now, so Carrie, if you start now, like I have nine of them to make, right? So if I start now, I can make my nine books, get my gift cards or whatever little extra I'm going to give. <laughs> oh, Ash, you're so sweet. Um... Good night, Scotty. I love you. Sending you so much love and healing. Everyone, just think about Scotty and Sarita for a minute and send them some healing thoughts. You know, just love and good health and feeling better. Oh, Sarita, we love you. What do you mean? You're, you're our peep. You have to be here with us. If I don't see you or Marcy, I get worried. I'm like, where's Sarita? Where's Marcy? <laughs> so you have eight to make so you can make them so make so if you want to make them in a brown paper bags do like I did you know make them you know paint your paper first you don't have to paint it all this wild colors you know but paint your paper you need to put if you're gonna make them out of brown paper bags you need to put a coat of something down it doesn't matter what you put you could put just a thing of uh... Sarita you're definitely a mama you are definitely a mama. Hugs to you. All you girls are my mamas. Oh, Luana, you're so sweet. I I needed to laugh too. I didn't know how bad. I, I, little did I know that ridiculous <laughs> that ridiculous man was gonna make me laugh so hard. But back to your thing, Carrie. You know, just get this. I think I think that these pages were. This was just like I think I made three pages out of one paper bag so you if you've got some big grocery bags I mean it's a really inexpensive thing and then the next step would be to make your envelope and if you guys I, we can make an envelope for one of these after you guys get them done I can you know walk you through making the the envelope again you're right thanks Alana you girls are, I really appreciate your friendship your camaraderie I really appreciate that you're so kind and loving, not just to me, but to each other, and that you really view everyone as, you know, part of your crafty family. I think it's so important that we all feel like we belong somewhere, you know, that we feel like we have a community that sees us, that sees us and knows us and hears our voice. And I feel like that's what you girls are for me, and I hope I'm that for you. And I hope anyone that comes to join us, you're all welcome to join our Facebook group as long as you don't pay any pockets. You don't post your pockets. <laughs> um, Crafting Mamas on Facebook. Yeah, I love you guys. I'm giving you a group hug. I'm always giving you girls a hug. I'm always sending you love. I was talking about it today with Hottie. We were talking about um, inviting in the spirit of friendship in your life. And... You're not a mean girl, Susan. You're not a mean girl. 
You're right, Carrie. I totally believe that. The divine has a hand in all of us. And hmm, thanks, Tina. I'm grateful for all of you. So I was talking to Hadi about it today. We were talking about inviting in the spirit of friendship. I'm going to tell you, you guys got me my little weird esoteric thing, but it's not weird for me. It's just who I am. So everything has a spirit. All of the energies that we put out, so there's a spirit in freedom, there's a spirit in fun, there's a spirit in friendship, there's a spirit in community. You know, it takes on an energy, right? So it's actually there. So what I did before I started this Facebook group is I was really feeling like <laughs> the divine is in everything. Well, I don't think it's dirty. I just think that, you know, we're human and we make it that way. Um... I was really telling, I mean, we were talking about what is it that I miss most about living on the mainland. And I said, I miss my friends. I said, I miss my friends. I said, I really miss my friends. I said, I miss my friends. I miss my, um, that feeling of community. You know, that feeling of the people that get you. You know, the people that see you and get you. That's what I miss. And I wasn't really thinking about it. I wasn't thinking about it when I was doing my live streams, but, you know, I don't even know why I started doing live streams. I can't even remember now. But what happened was, is when you guys would talk with me, I felt like, wow, this is my community. These are my peeps. Like, they get it. Like, they get me, right? And then when it expanded to being uh, the... A Facebook group. Now, it could be a forum anywhere. We could have a group somewhere else. It doesn't necessarily have to remain on Facebook. But when it spread to a forum where other people could join. And then you could share your art. I really felt like each and every one of you were part of that spirit of friendship. You know, that energy of friendship. And so, I just want to say thanks. So if you feel like you need a crafty best friend, invite the spirit of friendship into your heart and into your life. The spirit of friendship, the spirit of fun, the spirit of joy, the spirit of happiness. And I mean, I need somebody to get me to, Luana. I'm out there. And I know I'm out there. I know I'm out there. You know? And I feel like, and I wanted to... I kind of wanted just a group of people that would just come together for no reason. Like, it didn't have to be because, you know, and that's why when you're there for yourself, you're there. When you're there to sell, you're selling something. You know what I mean? There's an end result. So you may not be honest. But when you're there for... What's wrong, Susan? When, but when you're there for each other, you're there for... You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's like... That's why I didn't want to make it a swapping group or a selling group. And I agree, Fiona. You ladies are amazing. I wanted it to make a group. I wanted it to be a, a group about people who wanted to be together. Like, there's no end result except being kind and nice to each other. There's no end result. There's, like, not an end result of, oh, if I join this group, I'm going to be able to sell a bunch of stuff. Or if I join this group, I'm going to be able to... Do you know what I mean? Or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some swaps. So I just want to get some swaps and make some swaps and fulfill that need. I wanted it to be about people who wanted to be together. I love you, Susan. You girls have no idea how much you mean to me. You know, all I did was make a prayer to the divine to say, I just would really invite the spirit of friendship more to be more present in my life. You know, I just want the spirit. I feel the same way, Amberly. Good fellowship. You're absolutely right. You're right, Luana. We're all doing the very best we can with the wisdom and the knowledge and experience that we have. You're absolutely, absolutely right. I appreciate it if you hit a like, hit the like button. You know, what's so funny, Lynn, is every week, no matter what, I always have somebody that. That, that it gives me a thumbs down. The, the video will be up 30 seconds and I'll get a thumbs down. Oh, Laura. Well, you know what? Renee, our friend Renee, who's called Paper Obsessed, says, Craft or Cry. So 
so it's a good cry though you guys in this world we can make a difference we, we can make a difference we make a difference in each of each other's lives doing something as silly as crafting as silly as recycling brown paper bags and making meander books right Mildred <laughs> You're right, Lynn. It's probably the pocket guy who gives me the thumbs down. Oh, Lord, you guys. Oh, Amberly, I hope you always feel that way. Yes, and we all love you with no judgment. I love you. I hope you guys know how much I love you. It is a safe place. And you know what? You can share your art no matter if it's good or bad. And people will only say nice things about it. It is a nice group of people, Lynn, you know? And we're here because we want to be. Not because the, There's no end result. We're here because we want to be. And I have to tell you, it is so meaningful for me. I love you, Lilana. I love you girls so much. And I love seeing what you post. And I love the fact that Ash is meeting up on you and Mildred are going to do your arting and crafting and whatever via however Skype or whatever. I love it that you guys are meeting your crafty best friends. Girls, we can make a difference in this world and I do believe it. <laughs> Susan, stop. You're ridiculous. Oh my gosh, you're ridiculous. Oh. Uh, we can make a difference through pity pat pat. Yes, no ulterior motive, Lana, just being together. Just pity pat pat and painted papers and paper bags and paper bag journals and whatever. Amberly, I'm sending you a huge hug. So I didn't really tell you guys what I do for a living, but I'll tell you, I do make art for a living. I've been an artist my whole life. I do some form of art. I think I have ADD, so I, I make all kinds of different art. But what I do, um, and maybe a few of you know it, and maybe some of you can feel it, is I'm an energy worker. And pity pat pat painted papers, that's right. Oh, we love it that you're chatty. You can be as chatty as you want. You can be, you can be, Tina, you can be as chatty as you want. There's no judgment, okay? But I do energy work for a living. So, I do, I'm an energy healer. Well, not Reiki, but kind of like it. You know, it's my own, you know, it's my own, my own version, my own. So whenever I'm at the end of the thing, I always, I'm sending you, you do, you do level two Reiki, awesome. So when I'm sending you Aloha at the end, I'm always sending you a little extra energy boost for your week to hope it gets better and hope good things happen for you. But that's what I do for a living. I'm an intuitive and I do... <laughs> Lynn, you're hilarious. I hope that you all make good friends in our group. You know, I hope that you all find your crafty best friends and that you all feel how much I care and love you and love you. And I'm not, and it's not a put on because I get, you know, I get the same amount of love right back. Amberly, we realize that, that you know what, nobody's. Look, you have to be who you are, and you have to feel free to speak up and say what you need to see, say. And sometimes you just need to be heard. You know, that's all it is. You just need to be heard. Okay, so I want you guys to close your eyes. I'll do a little energy work on you before we end our before we end our um, our crafting extravaganza. Oh, thanks, Eva. We do love you, Amberly. Oh, I love you, Susan. Yeah, I'm in every kind of intuitive Luana. You name it, I do it. <laughs> all of it, all of the above. I don't really share that with people, so I don't even know why I'm sharing it with you guys. And that's why, so intuitively, I was told to start this group and that's why I did it. That's why I said I can't even remember like why I started it. I don't have an ulterior motive. There wasn't anything for me to gain out of it. <laughs> okay, so I want you guys to close your eyes. 
and just inhale and exhale. So breathe in and exhale. And one more time. One more time, you guys, just breathe in. You didn't miss anything, Vicki. We're happy you're here with us. I think we have about 1,200 members now in our Facebook group, Carrie. That doesn't mean everybody's, you know, um, active. And yes, Lynn, I am an empath. <laughs> I am an empath. We did have a really good laugh, Vicki. We did. Oh, my God. We did have a laugh, and it uh, made me cry. I was laughing so hard. Tell me how you girls are feeling now. Did I lose you all? Are you all off in a blissed out state? Very good. Awesome. Maybe one time I'll invite you. I do have a, a group of people that I work with all the time. Maybe I'll invite you guys in our Facebook group. I'll put a link one day. Not that I promote anybody, but <laughs> I, feel, I feel like it's my group so I can promote myself. I'll send you guys a link to my my weekly meditation. Yes, empaths stick together. You're right, Sherry. I'm glad you feel better, Delana. I love you guys. You have no idea how much. I really, from the bottom of my heart, mean it. And I'm so grateful for the love and energy you guys share with each other. Vicki, you didn't miss anything. You did not miss anything. You're going to make snowflakes, but I can't get the zoom on my camera to work. I can't because I'm so... You also have to understand, things, electronic things don't work around me like they do for everyone else. So it could just be like the energy of the day. And then tomorrow I try it and it works fine. And it always happens on the day. Like if I didn't have anything planned and I wanted to do it impromptu, it would be just perfect. It would work without me even trying. Right? So... Oh, Sherry, I love you too. You girls are so awesome. Please post your stuff. I haven't, I don't have a good camera. My, my new phone takes the worst pictures. So I can't, yeah, we'll make the snowflakes next week. We'll make them on Friday. Um, so I can't post the pictures of what we make. That's why, and I don't even bother because I figure that whoever really wants to see them will come look at the video. But I will start posting the work. And I'll post some of my paintings so you guys can see my bigger work. Yeah, somebody asked me about it because I was talking about what I was doing. Uh, oh my god, it didn't work because we needed to laugh about the pocket man. You're absolutely right, Ash. Ash, you were so right. I was stressing myself out. I was so stressing myself. I was stressing myself out over this Zoom. If you guys had been here with my Zoom my zoom ridiculousness you guys would have been like i was at one point i was just like okay universe this is ridiculous like <laughs> i can't get the zoom to work uh i'll take some pictures of it my my new phone takes the worst pictures and it could just be me and my energy <laughs> Can I title these Pocket Man so we can find it easily? Oh, this video? I can totally call it Pocket Man. I will call it Pocket Man. <laughs> I'll call it pa Making Painting Papers and Pocket Man. Okay? How's that? Does that work for you? Painting Papers and Pocket Man? 
Oh my god. You girls are so crazy. Well, I love you. Breathe in one more time, and I'm going to let you girls, I'm going to send you some more aloha, and then we can go. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Always, always, always. I love you, ladies. I don't know. If you wait, if you wait, Tina, and go to the Facebook group, Susan will tell you. I'm sure she'll know, like, at minute, what, whatever, hour one, minute, minute, um, 27, you, it'll be a laugh or whatever. Oh, Lord, girls. Yes, mahalo nui loa, which means thank you from the heart. All right, girls, I love you. See you on Tuesday. Tuesday, we're going to do our ATCs. So bring your, either your two and a half by three and a half, anything. It could be cardboard. It could be, just make sure it's thicker than a piece of paper because in, because you're going to have to glue some stuff to it. You need that, your glue, painty papers, or whatever you want to use for your background. And a one fashion magazine, please. A fashion, a fashion, fashion, fashion magazine. Invest in a good one. I mean, don't go buy a new one. Get one from the thrift store. <laughs> I will. It's only 6 o'clock at night here, so I'm not going to be sleeping for a while. All right, I love you girls. See you Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend. Post your yard sale finds in the Facebook group. Okay, aloha.